morning. It's Friday, May 15th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Destroyed, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 7. When everything was ready, the Lord said to Noah, Go into the boat with all your family, for among all the people of the earth I can see that you alone are righteous. Take with you seven pairs, male and female, of each animal I have approved for eating and for sacrifice, and take one pair of each of the others. Also, take seven pairs of every kind of bird. There must be a male and a female in each pair to ensure that all life will survive on the earth after the flood. Seven days from now, I will make the rains pour down on the earth, and it will rain for forty days and forty nights, until I have wiped from the earth all the living things I have created. So Noah did everything as the Lord commanded him. For forty days, the flood waters grew deeper, covering the ground and lifting the boat high above the earth. As the waters rose higher and higher above the ground, the boat floated safely on the surface. Finally, the water covered even the highest mountains on the earth, rising more than 22 feet above the highest peaks. All the living things on earth died. Birds, domestic animals, wild animals, small animals that scurry along the ground, and all the people. Everything that breathed and lived on dry land died. God wiped out every living thing on the earth. People, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and the birds of the sky. All were destroyed. The only people who survived were Noah and those with him in the boat. And the flood waters covered the earth for 150 days. There are plenty of disasters from which to choose an image. Wildfires in California destroying subdivisions and memories. Tsunamis in Indonesia decimating coastline life, terrorist attacks and the incredible stench of death's aftermath, and people standing dazed in the rubble after a tornado. Noah is the poster child for disaster. Yet the magnitude of the destruction of that global flood is largely contained in just two paragraphs. Essentially, it boils down to, God said he'd wipe the earth clean, and it was so. Just like the account of creation, God said, and there it was. This morning I went to the computer to post today's devotion. I found the tech version of Noah's world. Everything was gone. The physical computer machine was there, looking all innocent and 21st century put together, like the earth after the flood. But when I booted up the criminal, all my files were under the deepest blue sea. Here, last night, Gone this morning. What now? I felt the electronic equivalent of being cut off from the past 40 years of ministry, records, sermons, correspondence, bills, and, oh my, Facebook. I spent the next hour muddled in confusion about what to do next and recriminations over not being more diligent with backing up my files. I also prayed fervently, Oh Lord, if you just give me back my files, I'll be good. I'm still not entirely sure what happened, but one word popped into my technologically challenged brain. Restart. So I did, and voila, my files were back, and now I'm writing the next devotion. Noah wasn't so lucky. Or was he? There are two hinges to consider here. Hinge number one, God said he was going to do a new thing. Hinge number two, God did it. God told Noah to get in the boat, and then God closed the door on the previous chapter. Then God opened a new chapter for the righteous man and his family. This begs the question that's frequently my cling-to thought whenever it seems my world might fall apart or be flooded over to 22 feet above the mountaintops. And that's this. What could be better than being in the center of God's will? even when he decides it's time for a restart. For you today, our new normal after the virus flood is, at this moment, just a foreboding. I'm not sure I've seen any pairs of animals gathering two-by-twos, but stay tuned. You never know what God is up to. Our only certainty is the cross and an empty tomb. Everything else is like what Noah left behind. 
You chew on that as you hit the rocky road.